just found out where. There, review it. Or you can just do what I tell you. I think even you, stupid as you are, can manage that. Well, let's go. This is not good. Shut the fuck up and do your job. I raise power to 700. Well, we can't raise the power from here. The rules. Don't talk to me about rules. There is no rule. I apologize, but what you're saying makes no sense. Raise the power. No. I won't do it. It isn't safe. Safety first. Always. I've been saying that for 25 years. Raise the power. I would like you to record your command. Raise the power. Another few minutes, it'll all be over. Raise the power. What just happened? It exploded. We know. We get the backup pumps running. We need water moving through the core. That is all that matters. There is no core. It exploded. The core exploded. He's in shock. Get him out of here. The lid is off. The stack is burning. I saw it. You're confused. RBMK reactor cores don't explode. Akimov. We're wasting time. Let's go. Get the hydrogen out of the generators and pump water into the core. What about the fire? Call the fire brigade. The pumps. I can't get through to Hodemchuk. The lines are down. Fuck the phones and fuck Hodemchuk. Are the pumps on or not? Sorry, I took. My control panel's not working. I tried calling for the electricians. I don't give a shit about the panel. I need water in my reactor core. What does the decimeter say? Uh, 3.6 Ronkin, but that's as high as the meter. 3.6. Not great, not terrible. Scott, I looked right into it. I looked into the core. Did you lower the control rods or not? Take him to the infirmary. We have to keep water flowing into the core. We need electricians, mechanics, we need bodies. It's delusional. The feed water is mildly contaminated. It'll be fine, I've seen worse. No one can blame me for this. How can I be responsible? I was sleeping. The reactor? We're taking measures to ensure a steady flow of water through the core. What about radiation? Obviously down here is nothing but in the reactor building, I'm being told, 3.6 Rungan per hour. Well, that's not great, but it's not horrifying. We are all very safe down here. The accident is well under control. When the people ask questions that are not in their own best interest, we seal off the city. No one leaves. And cut the phone lines. Contain the spread of misinformation. We will all be rewarded for what we do here tonight. Sent my dosimeters into the reactor building. The large dosimeter from the safe, the one with the thousand Runken capacity. What was the number? There was none. The meter burned out the second it was turned on. It's typical. Sends a shit equipment and wonders why things go wrong. We found another dosimeter. And? It maxed out. 200 Runken. It's another faulty meter. You're wasting our time. How do you get that number from feed water leaking from a blown tank? You don't. Then what the fuck are you talking about? I think there's graphite on the ground in the rubble. You didn't see graphite? I did. You didn't. You didn't! Because it's not there! Now please tell me how an RBMK reactor core explodes. I can't. Are you stupid? I apologize. Gods! Gods! The feed water. Been around it all night. You go then. What? Go to the Ben Block roof and report back what you see. No. No, I won't do that. Of course you will. The situation in Chernobyl is stable. No more than 3.6 Srontgen. I'm told it's the equivalent of a chest x-ray. It's also the maximum reading on low-limit decimeters. They gave us the number they had. There's a There's no place for alarmist hysteria. It's not alarmist before. if it's a fact. Well, that's graphite on the roof. The whole building's been blown open. The core's exposed. I can't see how you can tell that from here. Look at that glow. That's radiation ionizing the air. Well, if we can't see, we don't know. Get us directly over the building! Boris, don't use my name! Directly over I the never told you will be within a week! Dead! Get us over that building! Or I'll have you shot! I prefer my opinion to yours. I'm a nuclear physicist. I worked in a shoe factory. And now I'm in charge. To the workers of the world.
very much for being here. Chief Engineer Famine, Colonel Dennis, the girl up and I are honoured at your arrival. Deeply, deeply honoured. Gun our own inquiry into the cause of the accident, and I have a list of individuals who we believe are accountable. Professor Lagasse, I understand you've been saying dangerous things. Very dangerous things. Apparently, our reactor core exploded. Please, tell me how an RBMK reactor core explodes. I'm not prepared to explain it at this time. I presumed there's no answer. It's disgraceful. Really. It's not through Ron Ken. It's 15,000. Please escort Comrades Bukhanov and Famin to the local party headquarters. Thank you for your service. Dyatlov was in charge. It was Dyatlov! Someone decided that the evacuation zone should be 30 kilometers when we know here Cesium-137 in the Gomel district. That's 200 kilometers away. It was decided. Based on what? I don't know. Is this really the way it all works? An uninformed, arbitrary decision that will cost who knows how many lives made by some apparatchik, some career party man? I'd like to address the 30-kilometer exclusion zone. What exclusion zone? Premier Rizhkov has, has determined that. If he determined, then he determined. Look, Professor Legasov, you are there for one reason only, do you understand? To make this stop. I don't want questions. I want to know when this will be over. The official position of the state is that a global nuclear catastrophe is not possible in the Soviet Union. They told the Germans that the highest detected level of radiation was 2,000 Rontgen. They gave them the propaganda number. <laughs> 